Hey guys, welcome back to your brand new adventure. Today we've got a pretty interesting video. We're coming to you just outside of Hamburg, Pennsylvania, down here near Shoemakersville, Pennsylvania. And behind us we have an abandoned road. This is called West Shore Road. It goes right alongside a lake that I can't pronounce. I'll actually put up the name of that lake on the screen. Ola Fani Lake, something like that. I don't know, it's hard to say. But this was given to me by one of my viewers. He sent me the coordinates. I wasn't sure what to expect and not sure what we're gonna find, but it seemed pretty interesting as there is a road that goes for a good distance and there's a bridge and maybe we'll find some unique, interesting things along the way. So come along with me and we'll check out this cool abandoned road. Bridge is closed, but we're gonna go forth. Oh, and right away, this is looking like a replication of Graffiti Highway. Yep, that's exactly... <laughs> Not sure what the deal is with that. Now, I don't know the reason why this closed, when it closed, I don't know much of anything. I was only given the coordinates to come check it out. And that's what we're gonna to do today. So if you guys happen to know anything that you wanna share, you're welcome to. Oh. It's actually a pretty cool arch bridge. Got a guy down there in the water fishing. It's a pretty big lake. Is uh, out naturing joining me today. I do like the shots of that bridge though. Oh, okay. Yeah. We see that like that barn or whatever the silos up there. Mm hmm. Looks like silos to me. Yeah. He makes pellets for uh, wood burners. Okay. Gets all the junk haul in. <laughs> oh, it was nice to meet you. Yep. Yep. Thank you very much. So right there, that gentleman we were speaking to, he's a local here. He said he comes here all the time. And it's always great to talk to the locals. He provided us with some valuable information. It's pronounced Anilani Lake, which I know I butchered before. He said this road closed roughly eight to 11 years ago. And he said back here, there was cars that keep getting stuck from soft ground. And I guess tow trucks had to come repeat it repetitively to uh, remove them, pull them out, and they got tired of it. So they ended up closing this road and creating a um, detour around it. But he said just in the last two weeks though, kids were here and ripped up, there was a metal plate here. They picked it up, chucked it into the water. So it's, uh, as you can see, it's not in great condition now. It's covered in graffiti. Gonna get some exterior shots in the sides of the road to see, show you how it looks, but um, it's a beautiful looking bridge aside from the graffiti. And there's a couple cool graffiti pieces as well, which I will share with you, but at least we know it's Anilani Lake. He said this is drinking water for the city of Reading. You're allowed to do fishing, hunting, and wading here. And of course, kids dump things into there, but we're gonna make our way across the bridge, walk the road, show you some of the graffiti pieces and see what else we discover. Maybe some cool views some nature, some wildlife, we don't know. But thanks to that gentleman though for sharing his information. Got some decent artwork here. It's good to see something other than vulgar graffiti. Watermelon piece or a slice. And uh, some leaves, you know. Got the flag here. What's this flag? Yeah, Confederate flag, I couldn't think of it. But we're gonna do some walking around, check it out and keep following the road.
Nothing is something worth doing. Words to live by. <laughs> so again, this is the modern day graffiti highway, but it's not a highway, it's a bridge. I don't advise coming here to tag it yourself, but... Oh, I'm being watched. Illuminati. A lot of eyes here. I see you. Now, of course, there's no one here to stop people from tagging it up either. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I do like that. I like that rose. Yeah, that's nicely done. Giant rose here for you. Oh, and somebody from the future has been here at 2023. Beautiful. Wonder if it's uh, Marty McFly. So we just crossed the bridge now. We're going to continue on the roadway. Graffiti is continuing onwards. There are some barriers up here preventing any motor vehicles, obviously. There's also a shoreline down here, which I think we're gonna take a walk down to, which should give us some pretty good views of the bridge. Kind of like a profile shot. So keep coming along. We'll check it out and see what else we discover. Let's check out this side first. A little pathway coming down. Give us some pretty cool shots at the bottom of the bridge which i'm going to keep you guys pointed downwards so i don't spoil the shot because it looks pretty epic this may be a thumbnail shot worthy shot down here all right so if you guys are ready i'm going to Tilt you upwards and show you this view here. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. That's a heck of a shot right there. It's a really nice looking bridge. So that's technically an abandoned bridge. I mean, you can still use it for pedestrian use, but no longer with motor vehicles. I'm gonna zoom in here and slowly pan across, give you a close view at it. Pretty nice right here. It's a nice open grassy slash wooded area. And again, it'll give us more nice shots of the bridge, which are turning out to be a very good photo opportunity. As we'll see, I did share, am sharing some photos throughout the video. And just like you saw before when we were here, there's someone down here waiting, fishing, which is nice they allow that. I wish up closer to me, some of the reservoirs and bodies of water, they would allow that. So here is the other side of the bridge. And I do believe we could get down underneath it on the other side. We'll do that closer to when we get back to that area. But 
Again, it's a beautiful bridge. Okay, now that we got some beautiful shots of the bridge, it's time to continue walking along the road. Now again, I can't tell you ahead of time as to how exciting or boring this is gonna be. But just like every other location I filmed, it's a gamble. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes it's a base hit, sometimes it's a home run, sometimes it's even a strikeout. But you don't know if you don't try. And the best way to Enjoy life is to get out and explore your world. So, I don't know where he's going. I'm going in one direction. He's going in another. And I've noticed too, this place seems pretty popular. There's people have been coming and going since we've gotten here. So, good to know it's utilized by people. But we are back on the pavement. Got some double line, two lane road here, and we're gonna continue. So let's keep moving. You know, I don't know about you guys, but hiking makes me hungry. You know, one thing I go for is pizza. Oh, look at it. <laughs> We're in luck. Cheese-filled crust pizza. Oh, one of my friends are here, too. There's Al the Alien. Flatbush Zombie ASAP Mobin. Not sure what that is. It's a nice road though. Still in relatively good shape for being closed for roughly 10 years. But we've got some more walking to do, so it looks like a start of another rose here too. Do you have to agree with this? Life is one hell of a ride. Do got two people up there walking the dog. I guess that's a fairly active location. Good to see people using it other than for graffiti uses, but it's just strange that this road is just left like this, you know. I guess it's kind of almost like a type of like rails to trail. Now it's road to trail type of thing. It's kind of nice and peaceful though. You can hear birds chirping in the distance. UT signal somewhere down the way. We got here first. <laughs> yeah, this is ours. This is ours, QT, if you're watching. <laughs> I thought I saw QT face back there. Not his paint. Oh. Okay. That's like a railroad crossing. <laughs> now this marks, I think if I'm correct, the third abandoned road I've ever walked on. The first one is being Route 61 in Centralia, known as Graffiti Highway. The second one is Tyke Street in Dunmore, where we hit the QT jackpot. 
We found out that road was created for the building of Interstate 380. And now this one here, West Shore Road, another abandoned road. I know to some people they're probably boring, like, oh, what's so special about an abandoned road? Just because it's a road that was created, used by the public, and now sit here slowly being retaken by nature. It just not an everyday occurrence. Oh no, one more. Pennsylvania Turnpike Tunnels. That one is another, so that's four. And there's actually some really cool graffiti pieces here I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to flip you around and show you what we're looking at. I think this is from The Lion King? Simba, maybe? I'm Batman. It looks like the Mr. Yuck stickers. Oh, a dancing robot. He's getting jiggy with it. Alien. That's really good. Find peace in nature. So, like again, I don't care for the graffiti, but it's nice to see something other than the basic low talent stuff that we normally find. But this body of water is quite nice, pretty large too. And there's some they said in the back, uh, the gentleman was telling us there's some factories back there. You can kind of hear them humming in the distance. I'm not really sure how long this road goes for. I know it's over a mile. And I don't know what's at the other end of it, but hopefully we'll find out. But however long we walk, we have to walk back. We have to remember that. So We do have one more location in mind for today. This is our second video of the day. And if things cooperate, we will have a third. And if I put these out correctly, you'll find the first video linked down below in the description. So that's looking where we just came from. Walked a good distance. Nothing really worth showing, as you saw I didn't show it in the video. But we did reach the other end, and here we are. Now the detoured road comes down picks up there so this is a again closed off section and let's see just like it says on the other side no boats no motor vehicles open to hunting trapping recreation that's there any game commission cooperating with city of reading so here we are west shore drive Kemmerer Road. Again, this is the detoured section. As we see here, the permanently closed bridge. But it is a, again, a popular area amongst locals. And they'll show you down here. You got some people waiting. I'll give you a shot of them really quick. It's actually a nice shot right there. Out there doing some recreation fishing. It's a good thing to do this time, you know, with what's going on in the world, everything being shut down. Gotta get out, explore nature, do what you love doing, make the best of it. And I cannot complete this video without showing you some of nature's carpet. And I found some right here. Nice and lush and green. And there's Mike. We're going to do uh, a couple photos probably, and then we're going to conclude the video, walk back to the car, and continue on with the rest of our day. So that was a look at the abandoned section of West Shore Drive. Not too bad of a spot. I do want to thank the viewer for sending this to me. He did find it on Google Maps. He wasn't sure if it was video worthy, but we were down here in the area. Figures worth checking out, and definitely the bridge was the highlight. And it's cool to talk to the gentleman, the old timer who was a local, who was like, these blasted kids, you know, they threw this thing in the water, they're doing this, they're doing that. It was kind of fun to just listen to him ranting and playing. But he was knowledgeable. You know, he did share that the road was shut down roughly 10 years ago 
and that that plate that was covering up that hole was removed in the last couple of weeks. They said that kids somehow lifted up, dumped it in the water. You could tell he was kind of bothered by it, but you know, that is the way things go, unfortunately. Things become abandoned, not used or active, and people with simple minds move in and start disgracing it. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the photos and footage I was able to provide for you. Just another beautiful day out here though. Comfortable temperatures. Got some good exercise. We walked probably three quarters of a mile. Now we have a three quarters of a mile walk back. But don't forget to check the description for all the links for Mike's channel, our first video that we did today, and of course links to my Patreon page, PO Box, and my merchandise shop where you get some JP videos, merchandise, and don't mind a lot of Jeep barreling up the hill. But cool spot. I definitely think it's worth checking out if you're in the area. It's another abandoned road in Pennsylvania, so. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. So as promised, we're going to give you a look underneath the bridge from this side. We're going to go down this little trail here and see how it looks from underneath. I wonder if there'd be any trolls down here since they live under bridges. Uh, I see a spot that Mike could climb to. Hmm? There's a road close sign right there. It's actually a really cool shot. There I am, dead center. And there's graffiti up there too. People have gotten up there. There's water dripping up there from somewhere. Yeah. Quite the shot here. They were looking dead center, zoomed in all the way to the other side. Pretty cool. Just snap a couple photos and then we're going to get back to the top of it and keep going. So this was just a little bit of bonus footage here showing you the underside of the bridge from the other side. Made for some fantastic photos here. I just want to share that with you before we leave this area. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys soon.